There is one stakeholder you're leaving out of the decision to hire a salesperson. Hey, it's Anthony Anarino, the salesblog.com, right here, youtube.com forward slash Anarino, and author of The Only Sales Guide You'll Ever Need, as well as The Lost Art of Closing, Winning the Ten Commitments That Drive Sales, on shelves August 8th, 2017. And this is a message for leaders because there is one group of stakeholders that we tend to leave out of hiring decisions when we hire a salesperson. And I made some notes about this. That stakeholder is your prospective clients and your clients that that salesperson is going to serve. That is really who we're hiring for. And it's a new lens to look at this hiring decision to say, who am I giving my prospective clients? Who am I giving my clients is this someone that they're going to consider to be a trusted advisor? And is this someone they're going to consider to be a peer? So I want to start with a couple points about this. First, the salesperson is the first impression of your company. That's the first contact your client has with your company. And that's what they're going to base a decision on as to whether or not you're the kind of company that they want to do business with. If you have the kind of people that can serve them if you are the right partner for them. That's the very first impression. So when you're hiring, you have to think, is this the right person that these people are going to want to work with them and make a decision to put this person on their team instead of someone else? That's number one. Number two, they're a representation of your brand. So as far as the company that you're calling on knows, this person is the best you have to offer them. So whatever they are, that's what your brand is. If they're a trusted advisor, they're consultative, they're a peer, they're super sharp. They've got great subject matter expertise. That's going to be the impression of your company. But if they're subservient, if they're fearful, if they don't have the chops to go toe to toe with a decision maker and share new ideas and challenge them to change, then that's going to be your brand as far as that stakeholder in that company is concerned. And I want to go back to the trusted advisor thing for just a minute because that individual is an indication of the value that you create. They're an indication of the value that you create and the value that they should expect in the future from you. All they have to go on is the quality of the conversation they're having with that salesperson. And if the quality of the conversation is what I would call level one, it's about features and benefits, or even level two, support and service and experience, it's not going to be enough to intrigue anyone. The minimum value is three, which means I can show you how to get an ROI on an investment in what we sell. But they really need to be level four, which is strategic and integrated and consultative. You also have to remember when you're hiring a salesperson, this is the primary relationship between the companies that you want to do business with in your company. They're the primary relationship. It's going to be your operations team. They'll have much more contact in the future. But for the most part, they're going to be the person that is accountable for delivering results. And when something goes wrong and the train comes off the track, The first person they're going to call is the salesperson because they sold it and they own it. And I want that person standing in this trench with me in a foxhole when the bullets start flying because you're the one that told me that this was going to be better. And now we're having trouble and I need you to come in and help me straighten things out. So when we have this hiring decision to make, one thing we need to look at is, is this the kind of person that I want to work with every day? Is this the kind of person that's going to fit on our team? Is this the kind of person that belongs in our company? And if you can say yes to those and you need one final test, that final test should be, is this the very best person for me to give my prospective clients so that they'll come over and work with us instead of all of my competitors? This is a message for leaders, but if you're a salesperson and you're watching this, you need to think about your game and raising your game to such a high level that you are the right person for any company to hire to put in front of their clients. I'm Anthony Anarino. Hit the subscribe button. This is Every Day.